Even though nearly all electronic music sounds the same, electronic fans still insist on defending their favorite artists on the internet through thick and thin, all while putting their own dignity on the line. Today, we're going to be ranking which electronic artist has the most meat riders in their fan base using a tournament bracket. This is the fourth part of our five-part series where we will be covering every genre of music followed by a championship winner's bracket to determine which artist fan base in all of music has the biggest meat riders of all time. 100 Gex versus Crystal Castles. We're dealing with an artistic kind of electronic meat rider versus one that's maybe a little bit more from the Tumblr era, obsessed a little bit more with the aesthetics behind it. It's a very aesthetic driven thing. When it comes to the meat riding that we've seen at these 100 Gex shows, this is where the whole trend of going to shows and playing Subway Surfers, watching Family Guy. Recording on your, on your Nintendo 3DS. Exactly. With Crystal Castles, again, it's like one of those like things that's been broken up. It does fuel the meat riding. But when it comes to the kind of online, nerdy, a little fruity, artistic meat riding that you yeah. find Zesty. in 100 Gex, Zesty, yeah. I think it's clear that between 100 Gex and Crystal Castles, 100 Gex has the more intense meat riders. Anything you want to say on that? So I have a hot take here. I think that culturally, these two bands are exactly the same and occupy the same niche, just in different points in time. Mm -hmm. Therefore, depending on what genre we're looking at, we'll pretty much have the same number of and same roughly the same type of meat riders in their uh, respective fan base. However, since Crystal Castles was first, there was a bit more novelty to it. They were tapping into like the pretentious indie culture a bit more. Therefore, Crystal Castles has slash had more diehard meat riders. And they also really want you to know that they are diehard meat riders of Crystal Castles. While the Crystal Castles meat rider might be a little bit more vocal than the 100 Gex meat rider, I think the 100 Gex meat rider has a little bit more shame about letting people know, unless they confirm that they're talking to someone within their circle of autism or yeah. like chronically being yeah, online. Like, okay, I know this person's online. I can like overshare and like trauma dump on this person, yeah. Although I will say, for anybody who is an old head Crystal Castles meat rider, by now, it, the, the novelty of it has definitely worn off because of the fact that so many Zoomers have have gone and taken it and made it like this big TikTok thing. So now I don't know if it's as cool to say that you're a Crystal Castle's meat rider. Well, it's never cool to say you're a meat rider explicitly, no. but you kind of have a have to have a higher IQ to meat ride for Crystal Castles, I would say. Yeah, the capacity to meat ride's higher uh, with a higher IQ, so... Honestly, let's go with Crystal Castles. You have more meat riders than 100 Gex. Okay, Machine Girl versus Aphex Twin. Aphex Twin definitely has, I wouldn't say meat riders. He gets a lot of respect from old heads in the underground and new gens in the underground. He's always had a lot of respect. Yes, people like to meat ride the logo, but that's not the same as meat riding the artist. I'll say this. I think any Machine Girl meat rider definitely is already someone who probably has respect or some like small knowledge of Aphex Twin right. and understands that like, okay, like, you know, this is like a big influence for all of the weird artists that I like. So between these two, I'd have to say that Machine Girl has the worst meat riders. You can meat ride Aphex Twin and you'll just get like people who critically praise him and be like, yeah, I totally agree like he's a legend it won't seem but as it's weird so, it's so much deeper than that right like like meat riding is so much deeper than that you know like both these artists have a very online following but machine girl obviously you know a bit more it's a bit newer a bit more relevant yes. so th th there's just so much more going on in the sick and twisted mind of someone who's meat riding for machine girl you could say that they probably have a lot of calcium deposits built up in their brain exactly machine, machine girl, girl. All right, we have Snow Strippers versus the song Resonance by Home. Now, Resonance by Home is one of those songs on YouTube where you click the video, you go to the comment section, and it's full of comments such as, this song reminds me of my childhood back when, when, I, when things were simpler. Just pouring their hearts out in the yeah. comments, like, like treating it like their own personal diary. Yeah, writing a screenplay in the comments, basically, of like what kind of movie that comes up in their head. And, and you can find comments like that from five years ago to, yeah. to like yesterday. Yesterday, probably exactly yeah and then with snow strippers all of the meat riding that I, I i've seen from snow strippers comes from a circle of like online co music culture that's like yeah it's like aesthetics driven it's like focused on like you know oh someone came from the underground and they're connected with like rappers that i know and like the world of aesthetics between like you know like big cities it influences like a little bit of fashion and influences a little bit of the, the, the kind of like music you'll hear like at ketamine parties and whatnot i think home totally blows snow strippers out of the water we've debated about like okay you know aesthetic meat riding and like that being an extra layer with home resonance it completely 
breaks down all the barriers. For so many people, they just hear that one song and it's like an absolutely falling in love thing. And to generate that much power off of one song, it's an incredible feat. For that reason, I would say Resonance by Home blows Snow Strippers out of the water. Boom. Now we have Grimes versus Cowgirl Clue. Grimes, she is that internet cyber fairy formerly married to Elon Musk. People used to joke about her smelling on 4chan back in the day. With Cowgirl Clue, the amount in which you'd have to meat ride Cowgirl Clue. Well, what's interesting about this is if you're a meat rider of Cowgirl Clue, really all that means is you're like a very massive meat rider of the garden. Exactly. Because how most people know about Cowgirl Clue is the fact that she is in a relationship with one of them, either Wyatt or Fletcher. They both look the same, so I mean. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're twins. You have this really interesting new angle angle we're looking at which you could refer to as like meat riding by proxy to be a meat rider of cowgirl clue by proxy being a meat rider of the garden it shows your dedication to a single brand the whole brand of vada vada the, the, the brand that the garden has procured so i'm not going to say that she doesn't have some competition because grimes bitches love grimes i don't know if the meat riding by proxy is strong enough we saw in this case that this is about cowgirl clue exactly. having meat riders not necessarily the garden by extension and i was and I, exactly and i was going to say by by having it be proxy meat riding it's therefore lessened in its power yeah. compared to the, the pure it's diluted yeah. meat riding versus like grimes hella meat riders exactly so you cannot ignore that no, no yeah it's just complete pure meat riding energy so, so grimes you have bigger meat riders than cowgirl clue all right next up we have tokyo pill versus fred Again. again tokyo pill i know you guys love the crt aesthetic you love vhs filters you love Serial experiments lane uh, you love that shit you eat it up you think it's the hottest thing ever you wish you were living in the 90s early 2000s in japan you wish you had a bear suit some of you probably already have a bear suit all i can really muster up for fred again is that he's one of these electronic artists who had a boiler room big artists started fucking with him like Fortet and Skrillex. He's inspired a lot of skinny white guys to like pick up the um the, the beat pads and start making chops. Yeah, yeah, and he's he's really ins inspired them to pick up like the the hobby of meat riding in an artist. It's like a full-time job 40 hours a week. You you're working 40 hours a week you know, meat riding your favorite artists yeah. on the internet. I can imagine the fans of both of these being enough of a meat rider to take their stab at making music. And this is how it'd probably go down. With Tokyo Pill, you're going into a really nasty bedroom with like a few old McDonald's cups. Um, this is probably a college student who's like in their sophomore year. They have their own dorm. It's like a one person dorm. They switched their major three times. Yeah, they switched their major three times because uh, they want to get into music, but they're kind of vaguely into other art. And they'll open up Fruity Loops and they'll show you this crazy, uh, terrible little breakcore song with an amen break mixed with some uh, really cheesy anime samples from an anime that only uh, virgins and weebs would really care about. With the Fred Again fan, he would be a way more cleaned up guy. Probably lives in one of the big cities, invites you over for a date and says, hey, I make music. Want to see what I've been working on? The girl is actually interested because he's a cleaned up guy. He's not yeah. too bad. But then to her surprise, as soon as he hits that play button, as soon as he hits that space bar, her face starts fucking melting off. When it comes down to who has the bigger meat riders, I think the Fred again meat riders are going to be a little bit more casual with just like a cool respect. Like, yeah, I really, I really fuck with this guy. You know, like I really, he's just, he really inspired me. Tokyo pill. We're not looking for no. respect here. This is just pure like, man, I hate myself. Uh, I don't respect myself. Foaming and therefore, the mouth, what, yeah. what, want to live vicariously through another. And that makes you a perfect candidate to be a meat rider. Exactly. Of Tokyo pill. Tokyo pill. You have more meat riders than Fred again. We have Salem versus The Help. To me, in my mind, it comes down to two different groups here. With Salem, you have a lot of OG witch house people. You have a lot of people who are will be there to rush and defend Salem, saying, well, you know, they were an important part of electronic music culture, internet influenced, culture. Uh, influenced a lot of artists. Versus The Help, they fall into the category of Indie Sleaze. With Indie Sleaze fans, you're going to have people who either were in that era and lived through it and are attracted to this music because they're still as artsy as they once were back in the era of American opinion apparel, living in New York, fashion blogs, etc. Or the young crowd being, man, I wish I was in a coffee shop in Williamsburg talking to my friend about LCD sound system and the new album and how like revolutionary it is. When it comes down to which meat rider here do we think is worse? While the help meat rider definitely has a sense for aesthetics sonically and, and visually, I think that would make them cool to hang out with. With the Salem meat rider, I almost have a little bit less respect for them. Anybody in any fandom, any genre, who's like, you know what, this artist 
was like here since the beginning. They're so like revolutionary. That's always their key trait. They're just not going to shut the fuck up about it. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. just so like, everyone knows, they started all this. Yeah. You know, and like, you see that in every genre. If, if that's like one of your main reasons for fucking for an artist, maybe that actually makes you a bigger meat rider. No, I, I, I would definitely agree with that. Yeah. So then, honestly, Salem, you have bigger meat riders than the help. All right, with Jane Remover and Boards of Canada. Two really fascinating types of meat riding here. With Jane Remover, uh, it's definitely a way uh, more subdued, like underground. You know, you, you have the creator of Daria Core. You have someone who's doing this interesting hyper kind of digipop thing going on. With Boards of Canada, uh, it spans many, many generations. It's really fascinating. I will say their meat riders are very peaceful. You're not going to see meat riders of Boards of Canada who are like, Boards of Canada is better than this, better than that. No, they have a, a, a pure, just like calm kind of love that really matches the music. Boards of Canada is much as I hate to say it, definitely has a lot of fans due to the kind of music that they make. Put those kind of comments that are similar to the ones that you'd see in Resonance by Home. It's we're not just talking about one song here. When it comes to Boards of Canada, we're talking about songs spanning through different albums. Not to mention that Boards of Canada had also experimented by doing an ARG alternate reality game release of their albums. And anybody who like is like really receptive to like an ARG, that shows you how much of a meat rider they they have to be already in the first place. Between Boards of Canada and Jane Remover, uh, I think Boards of Canada has the bigger meat riders, not just off of uh, uh, the ARG stuff or or you know the kind of comments that they leave, but just the fact that you know spanning over like so many different time periods so many different generations you're bound to find a whole variety of uh different kind of meat riding so it's like very diversified so yes boards of canada you have worse meat riders than jane remover diversified meat riding here we go now when it comes to dorian electra versus 303 303 you could ask me. I have great memories of uh, singing Don't Trust a Ho. Just reminds me of a good, you know, party-filled era, like Cobra Starship, Kesha, Getting Crunk, you know, an era that I was way too young for, but nonetheless, I'm very nostalgic for. With Dorian Electra, you are dealing with someone that I consider, I'm pretty sure we both consider- An artist's artist. Exactly. People who are definitely in the hyperpop community will definitely know Dorian Electra. Artists uh, who are connected with 100 Gex and the hyperpop scene know Dorian Electra. PC music. PC music. People who are just nerds will know Dorian Electra. Dorian Dorian Electra really does live in the shadow of a lot of other uh, successors in the hyperpop scene. I, I'm not sure you see a lot of like, like day-to-day 303 meat riding. You do have a sub-segment where, where it is a nostalgia thing for them, similar to how I was talking about Bring Me the Horizon in our uh, metal video on the last episode. But when, when you're looking at Dorian Electra, again, an artist artist, of the meat riders that they do have, you're looking at um, you know pretty powerful people. You're, lo- you're looking at artists who exactly. are being the meat riders themselves. Exactly. And so you know a lot of those people can be pretty heavy hitters at points. I was just going to say that exactly. When you're dealing with, you know, this like high level type of meat riding, where it's meat riding coming uh, straight from the artists many times. Who, who often case will get meat ridden themselves, so they know exactly how to work it. Exactly. I got to hand it to Dorian Electra, the, the bigger meat riders compared to 303. Okay, next round, we're starting off with Crystal Castles versus Machine Girl. There is a common dynamic here in this matchup in that both artists' fan bases vary online. The more online a fan base is, uh, the more likely they are to be mentally ill and therefore have the most psychotic, deranged, intense meat riders, you know? And so th- th- this, this is a pretty interesting one when it comes to determining that factor. Now, it's not the only one, particularly, again, when it comes to Crystal Castles, we are looking at people who learned a lot from, like, the pretentious indie meat riders because, you know, Crystal Castles, they they were kind of dabbling yeah. in, in that indie scene. Pretty so, much half and half. Yeah, pretty much half and half. So I feel like the fact that they had one foot into, like, that really pretentious kind of indie and the other foot in that, that, that like, really annoying kind of electronic meat rider, it propels them up, up and away past, you know, what Machine Girl uh, meat riders would be doing. As autistic and cringy and crazy and femboy fueled, the Machine Girl fan meat riding is, that indie pretentious meat riding is so much more unbearable, intolerable, and uh, quite it, frankly- Inscrutable. Yeah, inscrutable. Crystal Castles, you have worse meat riders compared to Machine Girl, you win. Quiz Essential Meat Riding. Quiz Essential Meat Riding. Now the song Resonance by Home versus Grimes, to be quite honest with you, while the meat riding is bad off of one song, hundreds of thousands of comments, I'm sure. Comparing that to the absolute diehard love that bitches have for Grimes, I think that Grimes absolutely overtakes that without a doubt. We're not just dealing with love for Grimes, our angel era going forward with like younger kids and Zoomers. We're dealing with it from back when she was popular on 4chan and Fantana was reviewing, you know, her songs like Oblivion and, and around that album. I think Grimes overtakes here. Well, we're not just talking warm bodies. Bodies, we're talking intensity here. Yeah. 
Now, Tokyo Pill versus Salem. You know, both of these people who are fans of these artists like to think that they are probably a little bit edgier. Uh, definitely, they both think that they're very online. I can almost guarantee you that the Salem person is actually, in real life, edgier and more online than the Tokyo Pill person. With Tokyo Pill, I can definitely imagine a lot of their, their fans kind of clasping at the mouse right now, shaking, wondering what kind of decision I'm going to make, probably in their gamer socks. With Salem, they probably have already gone outside to take a smoke break and like left this video on the TV. TV. Because of that, I'm going to have to vote Tokyo Pill. I think you have the worst meat riders compared to Salem. Boards of Canada versus Dorian, Dorian Electra. Electra. Like I've said before, Dorian Electra, they're, they're an artist's artist. And when it comes to Boards of Canada, this is something that people get tattoos of. This is something that people dedicate art to. I've seen the subreddit myself. I've seen it for years. People go absolutely crazy for Boards of Canada. They love picking apart like what new things could mean in songs, you know, trying to debate when a new album would release. I think that's part of why the ARG works so well. No one's going to go crazy like that for Dorian Electra. They don't have fans that are built like that for for their music. So between Boards of Canada and Dorian Electra, I'm gonna say Boards, Boards of Canada. Of Canada. Crystal Castles and Grimes, let's begin here. With Crystal Castles and this Grimes. This making me sweat. It, it's, a, it's a sweaty one here, folks. I mean, honestly. Our defense for Crystal Castles going up in this ranking, we're dealing with that, like, artsy pretentiousness. This is the kind of person who, you know, has a lot of influence coming from the indie world. That kind of, you know, cappuccino drinking, cigarette, de Jerome black smoking, definitely reading Pitchfork, definitely watching Fantano that's, that's back, in the day. back in the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Different beast than it is, than it yeah. is now. Compared to Grimes... I mean, didn't come from a place too far off. It's hard because the amount of influence and meat riding capacity that Crystal Castles has is now cut off because like you mentioned before, they just don't make music anymore. They're done with, they're over. It's canceled, it's gone forever. With Grimes, she's still out there making music. She's still out there posting fit pics. Get, get, getting impregnated by billionaires. Getting impregnated by billionaires. She could just blink on Instagram live and people will go crazy. Yes, it is in part due to the music, but also it goes. it's so much more than that. Now we're dealing with the whole personality. Seeing a person alive today still making music, being able to parade their fan base of meat riders around. That dude that was playing the flute where the rats were like following him around. The Pied Piper, I believe they used to call him back yeah. in the day. That artist being able to capture that energy, it's, it's a lot more visually impressive than, than seeing like a sort of defunct group that has meat riders yeah. try to like weekend at Bernie's their corpse and be like, no, yeah. these guys are still up, they're still relevant. 100%. Now, however, that, that being said, Crystal Castles, the amount of influence they have in proportion to their size was, was still greater than what Grimes has now in proportion to her size. Therefore, they also carry that influence over to their meat riders. And, and, it, and it's not just that bitches love Grimes. They're essentially hypnotized by Grimes. The fact that we're talking about like what's going on today and the here and now, past and future are irrelevant, only looking at the present. I got all side with Grimes on this one. All right, Grimes, you have worse meat riders compared to Crystal Castles. Tokyo Pill versus Boards of Canada. This is going to be an interesting one, folks, but I got to say it. I think Tokyo Pill has the bigger meat riders compared to Boards of Canada, and I'll tell you why. The flavor of meat riding that you have with Tokyo Pill comes from a way more demented, kind of like youthful, naive, like hormonal filled place. Compared to Boards of Canada, I envision the kind of meat riders meat riding Boards of Canada being like very like zen almost about it. Meat riding, but like meat riding Boards of Canada in the position of like the Buddha while they're, you know, kind of just sitting at the tree. They kind of probably look like that while they're meat riding. It's a very peaceful Tokyo pill. They're going to have some crazy opinion about this or that or breakcore or electronic music. That kind of meat riding just completely blows, it out, of the blows water. it out of the water, completely outweighs the kind of meat riding that you'd see with Boards of Canada. So because of that, Tokyo pill your meat riders are worse than Boards of Canada. Who would have thought? Bitches love Grimes. If we're going to allow Grimes to upset Crystal Castles, which upset Machine Girl, which upset Aphex Twin, it would kind of be a lost cause to not give it to Grimes now. I mean, could Tokyo Pill have beaten Crystal Castles? Hell no. Uh, Machine Girl, hell no. Aphex Twin, hell no. no. Hunter Gex. Definitely not. We're, what we're really talking about here, a, a million femboys who make breakcore music versus the sun. I was going to say, yeah, a million versus the sun, and yeah. it's like versus the oblivion of the sun, you know? Congratulations, Grimes Meat Riders. You've made it to the finals, and in our next episode, we'll be putting together our championship bracket to figure out who has the biggest meat riders in all of music across all genres.